exploring the beautiful and historical city of Hoorn in the province of North Holland is truly an added summer delight. We walked along old buildings, warehouses, and prominent houses today. Buildings and houses are beautifully carved. I was totally amazed by Hoorn's historic center, which is rich in old buildings, carrying decorative wall panels and carvings many of which are based on religious stories and texts. Dutch doors in the city have classic, detailed, and distinctive carvings and decorative ornaments, which are truly impressive. And there were many of them along the churches and monumental buildings. Even in normal houses. Doors are rather small and narrow, but they have very charming details on and around them. These doors alone are already an attraction in Horn. Restaurants and waterside cafes scattered throughout the city. Absolutely everything in this little city exudes the prosperity of the 17th and 18th centuries. The city square is quite busy today. We were lucky to find a comfortable place and enjoyed a typical Dutch lunch at the Waag restaurant. Great spot, indeed. The restaurant looks like a typical old Dutch tavern with old and authentic huge weighing scales hanging from the ceiling. It's good to, to meet the friendly waitress who told us that this was used as a weighing house from 1609, where Dutch cheese was weighed for centuries. Interesting. Another historical monument in this little city. While at the city square, we had a perfect sight of the statue of Jan Peter Zoon Kuhn. He was an officer of the Dutch East India Company, commonly known as VOC in the early 17th century. According to history, he, he had two terms as Governor General of the Dutch East Indies. This bronze statue was erected in 1893 in Horn. Fortunately, we are still able to see today this bronze statue of this very controversial 17th century trader, since last year in June, demonstrators claimed and expressed disdain for glorifying him being linked to genocidal practices and slavery during those times. Um, the statue still stands proudly up to this time on the Port Cities Square. Another monumental building which houses the Golden Age Museum is the West Fries Museum. This is home to a large number of objects related to the history of the city of Horn, applied art, archaeology, militia, and trading. Too much to see, too little time to spend on this one day visiting Horn. Our leisure walk brought us to the harbour area where we enjoyed the fascinating sight of a variety of sailing vessels in different sizes and forms. We also encountered the ship Boys of Bonteku. These historical statues of three boys are prominent figures at the harbour, situated close to the Great Defence Tower from the 16th century. Further down the harbour, we had a perfect view of the front side of Horn's most significant landmark. That is the main tower at the harbour entrance, which is the last remnant of Horn's old fortifications. It was said to be built in 1532. I tell you, Horn is truly an ideal place to visit for a touch of history. And for a relaxing moment under the sun and at the sight of the lake, the Isomere. This is it for now. Thank you for journeying with me and see you next time.